Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode in which again we shall be experimenting with the Gedicom Windows 98 laptop. Laptop or battle brick I leave to you. But what was previously discovered and where we are now is that its Windows apparently has practically no network connectivity. And in today's experiment, I would like to see how much of it I could add ex post. What I now have done is burned here a Windows 98 second edition CD, which I shall be using in order to complete those systems components, which are at present missing from the Windows 98 second edition operating system. I do understand perhaps why the owner before me omitted the networking elements, because the machine itself does not actually feature much in terms of networking connectivity on a physical scale. In other words, particularly, it lacks any network card. It does, however, possess a COM1 serial port and hence, in general, should be able to attain connectivity at least via PPP connections and possibly also slip connections. Now the CD-ROM has been inserted into the machine and I wonder a little bit how to approach this. You're having here also the adventures of someone dabbling in 98 without being an expert of it. So I'm not sure, should I be starting from the setup program on the CD? with a certain risk of maybe somehow overwriting my present windows, which I certainly do not wish to do, or maybe going to the system, to the control panel, and from the control panel, try to add missing windows components. So here, I have gone to the software tab, and now I'm looking for Windows setup and possibly missing components. I shall say I want to have all. Uh, so it does not allow me to install all internet programs because one of the components is connection sharing and it is telling you connection sharing will only be permitted if you install the corresponding hardware. This further contributes to a discovery I made earlier that namely internet connection sharing is only possible from a network card over something like a COM port but not in some other way. I cannot click this. So yeah, I cannot install this in full. Multimedia, what exactly have we got? Okay, audio files I don't want to have, nor some scam, I don't care. As I'm here, you know, why not just add a couple of things? So then we're having some extra programs. I think here I should be able to get a lot more. Paint is lacking, indeed, if I go here under start, programs, accessories, games, editor, I have no paint, a Windows 98 without paint and without a calculator, who would even want to own that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty appalled at the things which are missing. Windows scripting host, I don't really think it's even a good idea to have that. And WordPad, while I like WordPad, 
this machine is actually having Microsoft Word installed. So certainly I do not need that. But yes, paint and the calculator, definitely. Connections, what do we have here? Ha, huh. this is where I would be having the hyper terminal, which I totally want to have. And I want to be able to do remote connections, both a server and client. Microsoft chat, I do not necessarily need. PC direct connection. Yeah, let's have it. VPN. Not that I plan it, but as I am doing it, it's possible. Microsoft chat with all respect. I doubt that I will ever need this. Dialing help. Program to dial a phone number with the help of a modem. Let's have it. I don't really need the ATM support though. And not a bank. And this is not a bankomat, so I shall omit this. So now we have this. System programs. There's only the system monitor, which I might be able to get. Let's have it. Ah, oh, it's small. And the resource display. So, we had here an entirely stupid game called the Shoe of Money 2. But we did not have any system monitor. And some network monitor. Do I want to have a network monitor? Why not? Let's have a network monitor. Language support, uh, online services, that would be fun to see. Uh, uh, AOL or CompuServe, I do not care about these. Like, yes, indeed, these two. I do not need these. Multimedia, we saw. Internet programs, that will be an interesting question. Yeah, that is the thing I cannot completely select. The helps for entry, like assistance programs, no. I don't need that. Desktop motives, these are commonly big time fun, but do I really need them? I rather think not. So while this is all very funny, we shall omit it. And the address book. I can say accept and it did get my Windows SE CD-ROM. So it is now trying to see whether the proper files are contained. There is a language version or code page conflict in one of the present files. Do I want to keep it in German or do I want to take the English variant for the connection sharing? Do I want to keep it? No. Change it. It is recommended to keep the original, but I don't want the original. Frankly speaking, one of the things when you are installing, of course, any operating system is that if you pick any language other than English, you can have real adventures looking for help. Do I want to keep the... It's a newer version than the one which shall be ca copied. Cabinet DLL. Yeah, I want to keep this. I am in the midst of DLL hell. And the way I understand, I'm not too far away from wrecking my system. Well, I'm now from now on keeping all of these original German ones. If 
this system via updates is somewhat newer than the Windows 98 SE on the CD-ROM, then it would be unwise. Though I do ask myself, of course, how exactly would that be possible? Because this is a system without a network card, so how is it imaginable that anything on it is, is updated, that anybody bring the updates over? Or it could be something as simple as a time setting issue. But anyway, I'm just going to keep it now. Yeah, I'm keeping it. So now my English CD-ROM and my German system are going to create a Franken system, which may or may not work. But it will be interesting to see whether today's experiment in adding functionality ex post will work at all or not. But what sort of human being installs Windows 98 without paint? I'm no longer even reading these. I have come to the conclusion, let it be as it may. Worst case, everything crashes and we need to reinstall Windows 98. That wouldn't be the end of the world though. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but having a Windows 98 machines means that from time to time you need to reinstall it. Okay, now it is examining or checking the copying. This is what Prüfung means. And we are somehow a little bit stuck at 98%, which given that we are on Windows 98 is of course a funny number to get stuck at. Uh, can't find MFC lock DLL. Skip. Skip. Why can't you find it? Like, what do you want from me? Windows database with driver information is being created. I love it. It very nicely captures the spirit. The spirit of the time which we sometimes tend to forget when nothing works as planned. Why am I asked about some conflicts? Why am I asked about language questions? Why can't it just decide it by itself? Why do I need to know whether or not a DLL is needed or should be needed or where it is? Why is this somehow my job? Why can't it find things in its own installation CD?
Can I move here anything? I'm just getting the clock. Windows 98 was the time when you would turn on your computer, fetch a coffee, and once you're done, try to work with it. In my first job, I was still using 98, though some colleagues were already getting XP. And the XP was this new system under which a lot of stuff was not working, stuff which of course for some reason or the other wanted to have direct access to hardware resources which i doubt it always needed we're going to be having this funny game apparently each and every time And that's it. How mega realistic. Uh, I shall clean up my CD. Okay, let's, let's clean up my CD. So here's my CD. It's not obviously dirty. It was burned at the speed of 10. Which shouldn't be really an issue, but okay. God damn it. Wow, 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 wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Windows coming back from a blue screen. Well, that's something. Do I want to restart my computer now? Yes. The moment of truth. Ah, oh, yes. It ejected my CD-ROM. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it will be quite interesting whether we are having anything like Hyper Terminal installed. And of course, whether we have Paint installed. A two gigabyte disk. This is fun. I really do wonder Will this video, when I make it, be as large as a hard disk? Certainly more than what it is using from its hard disk. Oh, here are the programs we were missing. Let's start with the most important program on any Windows installation, Paint. What a joy. Classical, nice, simple Paint. None of those paints with a million of functions as we're having them nowadays, and which are just disturbing the artist from greeting his audience with a happy, happy smile. Let us put a smile on that face. Why so serious? <laughs> so there we go. Paint is working. This is great. I assume also the calculator is working. Oh, that's cute. So, 1 divided by 0 is error, positive infinity. I like that. And... Why is the control panel open? Did it just remember it from the last time? That's actually very cute. 
And now internet programs and communications. Yes, I was totally missing that section. Hyperterminal, please, I really want to see this. Yes, I do have a hyperterm exa. A new connection. Let's call it COM1. And let's pick as a as an icon something more fanciful. Let's take the experimental connection. Oh yeah, it's reserved for command uh, for a, a device name. Fun thing, you can't name any file on Windows COM1. I thought it will at least call it COM1 somehow. So I'm going to call it COM1 with K. Connect using direct to COM1. Okay. At the speed of 2408 N1 and hardware flow control. This is the default which you're having on MS DOS. If you do not issue a, a mode command to your port, that's what you're gonna have. I'm going to have none for like no no hardware nor Xon Xof, and the speed I shall prefer 19600, uh, 9, 9608 and one and no uh, what did you call it? No flow control. Okay. So there's nobody yet there, but we are having hyperterminal, and that's certainly something which we shall be exploring in the future. Are you sure you want to disconnect now? Yes. You want to save the session? Absolutely. So now we're having hyperterminal working, and the only one final thing I want to try out, just a little bit, not sure, but optionally, whether I can configure a modem, which type of modem do I want to install, a different type of modem. I don't really want to have an assistant determine the modem cards parameters. And I don't do want to select my modem myself, so no automatic recognition. I would like it to be assumed to be a standard 56k v90 modem. It shall be at COM1. The modem is being installed. Please wait. Okay, I certainly shall do so. Okay, the modem is, has now been configured. If I want to adjust something, I shall double click the modem symbol in the system, con in the control panel. And then I shall select the modem and click on its properties. Here we go. So that's cute. Properties then, indeed. Top speed, 115,200. Hmm, yeah, have it. Eight and one, I like that. Extended, still flow control. Hardware flow control assumed. We don't want to have that. Yeah, the connection sessions of the buffers we don't want to bother with, but we now apparently have a modem. So that's good. And it did not like immediately crash and do something crazy or anything like that. Networking. So here, 
I can have a Okay, Bauer Christian seems to have been whoever was before me. I don't really care about that. But I'm having apparently TCP IP here. If I've been, so I shall rather not change it from here, they're saying. I shall rather change it from elsewhere. Okay, they say I shall go to programs, accessoires. And somewhere here, I shall be able to change the communication parameters. Yeah, so this must be the modem networking option. Ah, yes, indeed. And now I can finally make a new connection. So that is what I shall be doing in future experiments. But it means that right now we have sufficiently updated Windows 98 to contain networking, proven that it is possible, and put ourselves into a nice starting position for further experiments. This is a good moment to end this video. So thank you very much for having been a guest today. You're highly welcome in the future as well. If not a subscriber yet, please consider it. Until we meet again, if you decide that we shall, have a wonderful time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.